I'm on vacation every single day cuz I love my occupation hey 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 I'm on vacation if you don't like your life then you should go and change it so we just arrived here at Rovaniemi airport from uh, Helsinki and it's 1:30 a.m. in the morning and uh, everybody's very tired uh, there's a lot of snow outside and we are now going to pick up our rental car. So one fun thing to do is, uh, on the square itself, uh, go in front of the webcam, uh, which is on their main website, and then tell your friends and family to log in, and they can see you, wave, there's a temperature sign there, and it's a, it's a cool thing to do. Uh, what's her name? Sisu. 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 So a pro tip, if you do have a car, just go to like a local supermarket and, you know, buy some Prime, buy some Glog uh, and buy some other stuff because it is expensive in the Christmas village. So if you do have a car, just drive for like four minutes and you can stock up on groceries from a local supermarket. And it's always gonna be more authentic and cheaper as well. Here's the Glog. So one of the nice things in the superior cottage is that you have your own in-room sauna. It's not pronounced sauna. No, no, no. You have to say it like the Finnish do, which is sauna. Look at that. Your own private uh, sauna, 75 degrees. And uh, the nice thing is, is you jump in here for like five to 10 minutes and then you run out into the cold, um, minus eight degrees, and then you just, you know, stand there for a while. So you alternate hot and cold. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe it's on this side. Look at that guy just dancing. That is crazy. Yeah, look at how he's doing So if you drive up north a bit from the Christmas village, uh, you end up at a lake. Um, and there's a lot of cars parked and you can try to see the northern lights from there and we drove up there it's now six o'clock so it's still very early kids are still awake and we were able to see uh, some northern lights and we took a really good photo which you can uh, which I'll show you now uh... So we just arrived at the Rizenturi National Park and as we had hoped, we just got here with the sunrise. It's around 10.30 a.m. in the morning and it's absolutely stunning. We are gonna go on a little hike and we are wearing our balaklavas. Show the balaklava. Uh -huh. OMG and ski goggles. <laughs> We are well prepared, as though, as oh, also you should be, because it is hand freezing. Hand warmers, very important. And foot warmers.
So one thing that we failed to realize is that the sun actually sets around 2 p.m. And we're here now at this Coroma uh, waterfall, the frozen waterfall, which we barely made, although we only saw the smaller uh, waterfall, not the bigger one. And it's getting dark and we do have to hike up quite a bit of mountain. So keep that in mind. There's only about three hours of sunlight in December uh, and uh, it's hard to fit two activities into one day. So if you don't want to escape the freezing weather, you can also opt to have dinner in the ice restaurant, which is part of this snow hotel. And the entire thing is built out of a big ice cube. It's carved out every winter. It opens from 15th of December and then it kind of melts again in March. And we are having dinner here at the ice restaurant, which is below zero temperatures. Uh, we're freezing. We were freezing already, and now we are still freezing, but we're having dinner, so, and we're having tea. It's funny, the soup is almost cold already. By the time they serve it here, it's already, yeah, cools down. message to the elf at the door. Do you think you could do that for me? Okay. Yeah. And tell them it's from all three of you, okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Normally snowmobiles are only for adults, but here at this place, the Arctic Circle Snowmobile Park, kids can go basically in rounds. You pay 22 euros and they go on small snowmobiles and uh, for 10 minutes they can just go around and around. It's a lot of fun. You can just rock up here. There's no need to uh, really sort of pre-book. You do have to line up, so it's best to come early actually. Um, so around 10 a.m. it opens. If you come then, then there is no line. Otherwise you're gonna end up spending about an hour in line. So keep that in mind. Action. Hello, we're here at the Kota Hovi restaurant. We're in Snowman World and we're about to go off the slide. Bye, Vera. driving from the Santa village north to Ivolo where um, you know we'll do some huskies and other stuff northern lights and it's a really nice way to see a country is just by doing a road trip not too long this is about a three and a half hour drive here in uh, Ivalo in a lake and we are going ice fishing and today is 21st of December it's officially the shortest day of the year here the temperature is a staggering minus 25 degrees and that's the lake behind me and we're gonna try to fish and we're gonna um, 
eat some sausages and marshmallows over a fire. Good luck. So unfortunately we didn't catch any fish uh, it's freezing and the kids they couldn't stand it so they went back to the car is this too cold for you guys yes. too cold yeah Where are you? is it too cold to wear very warm socks and shoes because your feet will definitely get frozen as you're standing on the sled uh, which is this one and you have to break yourself you have to maneuver it you don't really have to steer so much but it's really just breaking and staying in line and you can put your kids in front and they are nice and warm and it's beautiful you go through the forest highly recommend to do uh, huskies here in Finland So this ski resort in Sarisalka is hailed as the northernmost ski resort in Europe. And I've never quite been to a ski resort that is so full of snow everywhere. It's unbelievable how like such a winter landscape everywhere, trees covered in snow. It's quite amazing. And um, there's a few slopes here if you want to snowboard or ski. And uh, for us noobs who don't know how to ski, we just go up with the ski lift to check the restaurant and check the view. So behind me is our Airbnb and we are staying near a lake. It's quite beautiful, it's very peaceful here. And we are kind of in between Ivalo and Saraselka. Pretty good location. It takes about 10 minutes though to reach any type of supermarket or civilization. But it's kind of special uh, in a way to be here. It's so, so quiet. At night you don't hear anything, which is kind of uh, scary in a sense as well because it's, you know, a remote cabin in the woods. <laughs> Probably part of lots of horror movies. But to be honest, Finland is extremely safe and you know, people are really friendly around here. So there's really nothing to be worried about. And um, it's uh, nice to have your own place to 
hunker down because you are inside a lot. It's 1.30 p.m. and it's already dark, so you do spend a lot of time indoors. Your activities during the day are really limited to around two hours and then everything kind of, you know, shuts or there's not, nothing much else to do. So choose a location that, you know, you, you, are, uh, you want to st spend a lot of time at and uh, just throw some wood on the fireplace and um, drink some glug and uh, call it a night. Goodbye. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day, every, every single day. Ha, ha, ha.